The next thing I'm going to show you, which is fun, is uh, how to make the news. And uh, the best way to do this is just to see it. So I'm going to launch a new tab in my browser. And I'm going to go to the New York Times. And uh, when I get here, I'm going to right click this web page. So I'm going to right click right there. And I'm going to choose Inspect. And this is going to take me into Developer Tools once again. I'm going to close this ad. And inside Developer Tools here, instead of being in the Network tab, I'm now in the Elements tab. And I could scroll through here, and it's selecting different areas on the web page. This is the actual code which makes up this web page. So I made a request to the New York Times web server. I said, hey, show me your home page. And the web server responded and sent all of this code right down here, all that HTML. And then my browser rendered that and interpreted it to make this web page right here. Well, I could right click something and choose inspect. And then when I find that, I'm just going to bring that up here a little bit. I could double click right there and I could start to change it. There we go. Best headline ever. Blah, 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 blah. Or I could do something like this. And this is a fun little practical joke to, um, you know, do on do for somebody, your loved one or a friend or something. Whoa, check it out. Bernie Sanders rec recognizes that Jess is best wife ever. <laughs> How do you like that? So kind of cool. So that's the second fun thing. And one thing I do want to point out is at the time at which I'm recording the videos, this is how you do it. This is how you like right click, choose inspect. And it's probably going to be that way when you are watching this video. But if something has changed, uh, don't worry. I'm here for you. You can ask questions and I'll respond. Or that's part of the game of web programming and web development. It's a dynamic environment. It's always changing. And so one of our responsibilities as people who create the web is to figure out, okay, things are a little bit different. Where did this piece of functionality go? Where did inspect go? Or where is where are those three dots that let me change where things are docked, right? So that's part of our job as people who work on the web is just like trying to figure that stuff out. So you could Google it. You can ask a question of me and I'll respond or somebody else in the class will respond. But just, uh, just want to give you that heads up that if things change from the time in which I've made this video to the time at which you're watching this video, uh, to the best of your ability, uh, this is what we all have to do as people operating on the web and building the web. We have to adapt and try to figure out, okay, things are a little bit different. How do you do it now? So this could change the right click inspect. It probably won't. It's been that way a long time. Or any of the stuff I show you it might be a little bit different, but if it is, to the best of your ability, just try to figure it out. So what we've learned in uh, in this video is that you know again we saw Google Chrome and we saw that we could right click and choose inspect on anything on a web page, right? And then that's going to bring us into Developer Tools into the Elements tab, and then that will allow us to see the HTML which made up this web page. And not only that, we can start playing around with that HTML and changing it. So I'm not going to change that because I don't want to be disrespectful. That's pretty serious stuff. But that allows us to see how web pages are made and then also start playing around with the code to see, you know, what happens when we change stuff. And, um, and that's only changing it on your machine. It's not changing it on the New York Times web server. So sometimes I teach this to people. They're like, oh, my gosh, you changed the New York Times? I'm like, no, no, <laughs> just on my machine. And so uh, that's uh, going into developer tools and looking at the elements tab. So that's the second fun thing I love about the web, just being able to edit pages and see what code makes up pages and being able to right click and choose inspect to go to a specific thing in the code. I want to go right to that one, right click, inspect, and I'm there.